in 48 hours you are going to get this size so you can see it's a cost effective way of growing wow. your fish wow no this is the tank that is going to hold the top with so fish is this this uh, this week they eat it very well, well. Uh, <laughs> it very well. Uh, i think it's a, uh, a nice innovation to so it's really fascinating i think uh, this is one of the um ethyl pond here that uh yeah yeah this is an ethyl pond here i think this is an ethyl pond but uh, yet to be stocked and um a water pumped into it so but i don't really know what they are doing over there so but let's get a closer look or get there to take a closer look at it so we can see what exactly they are doing there and uh here from him being the fish consultant um in abakaliki precisely labor state so um please can you tell us who you are and what this exactly is thank you very much my name is steven chukokike i am the chief consultant of selection fish hub and as you, as you can see we are in a farm settings where we have a lot of innovative ideas so what we try to do over time is bring up new things that will help us farm fish and grow fish better and faster so this is a tapolin pond that we are installing on a dug out earth and this is also called you can also call it pond lining and this is a process of lining the dikes and the surface area of the pond to enable us have a water retaining capability so we are introducing this tapolin pond in this ethyl pond to help us culture our duckweed and our wolfia which is also a genus under the species duckweed so instead of getting the fabricated uh, tapolin pond that is going to cost more we decided to dig out the earth and install our tapolin pond directly to the earth and so we are going to pump in water into this tank and i'm going to show you how you can you know add your water and introduce your duckweed and give it a space of time just in a space of 42 hours 36 to 42 hours the duckweed will be able to reproduce itself you know reproduce the quantity i'm going to explain more on that as we do the practical as you said duckweed i'm really i'm um, confused what you mean by duckweed well, does a fish uh, eat weeds yes. I'm, I'm kind of confused yes we have we have different species of fish we have the catfish that is of the carnivorous family we have the omnivorous one but this particular plant is a plant that have a high protein content at least uh, the wolfia plant have 40 percent protein which is the main input in fish farming and the only plant that have been able to reach that uh, percentage of quick protein is uh, soybean. It's the only plant-based ingredient that has been able to meet that minimum protein requirement for catfish. That is why we try to uh, reproduce more of this plant to use it as a substitute for fish feed. You know, the normal palletal feed we buy in the market, that is the major feed that we use. So you're talking about the duckweed. I, uh, can you tell us more about the duckweed and how the process is going to be introduced into this, uh, you call it uh, uh, the, 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 the duckweed growing? No, this is the tank that is going to hold the duckweed. So we are going to grow this duckweed in this particular culture container. So why we are using this culture container because it's the cheapest we can afford and it's the cheapest that I recommend for farmers for now. So that is it. What is that bag and I can see? That is that is a poultry. Okay, is that is that the duckweed? Uh, yes, uh, is that the duckweed. Going to do the duckweed. Yes. The duckweed. Yes. Okay. And uh, what what's the essence of these uh, poultry? You said it's poultry dumpings. Poultry dropping. That's poultry waste. Oh. So what we do basically is that we use this poultry waste to fertilize the tank. Okay. So we when we introduce this uh, poultry dropping into the this particular culture container, it's going to fertilize the pond and enable this plant to grow. So this is um the duckweed. I talked about is actually a plant is the smallest aquatic plant on earth and is the plant that we are going to use to reproduce the soybean so this is a plant i talked about that you can use to replace the soybean that is as that have as much um protein content as the soybean so we just added the, uh, we got a little quantity of wolfia plant and the duckweed the wolfia and the duckweed are all duckweed but the other uh, uh, gene is called wolfia is the plant that have higher protein content. Doesn't know what, once it is introduced into these uh, pond, the thing will begin to grow on itself and multiply. Yes, the, wow. pla the wow. plant grows and multiply within a space of 42 hours. What I mean is that if we introduce this particular quantity of wolfia in this particular culture container, in 42 hours, we are going to get exactly this same quantity, provided that all the conditions that makes for the growth and survival are met, which means we are going to fertilize the pond and add enough nutrient that will meet the nutrient requirement of this plant 
So we are going to um, do the process right away. It's not a difficult uh, process. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, we start from the introduction. Uh, introduction yes, the, 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 the yes, inside the pot. You can see the water is already uh, coming up at the pond. So this particular plant don't actually need much volume. Any container that can hold water is good enough for this plant. The most important thing is the nutrient enrichment and the nutrient content of the water. So we are going to introduce the um, this is something. You can bring the this thing. You, so, you come and come and hold so it come and, and, uh, come and hold this. Uh, come and hold this thing. It's really interesting. It's really interesting. At least to know that uh, uh, there are substitutes to feed. And especially this period that um, feed uh, is at a high cost. Very high. And the market. farmers, fish farmers, especially are trying so, um, um, the possible best to see so, and the substitute or alternative to feed. Because it's really uh, expensive, and um, after the whole uh, calculation of your cost okay. in um, growing the fish, you mm -hmm. end up seeing that um, you are left with little or nothing as profit. So I That's think it's a, uh, a nice innovation to see that there are substitutes to feed wait, wait, the, wait, the, the, wait, the, the, wait, the conventional wait. feed that we buy for um, the, for the fishes. Okay. So currently, um, you have started introducing the yeah. poultry dumplings yes. into the um, to the pond. Yes, pond. Yeah. Okay. So, so, so we just, what we basically do is just add this. Uh, this thing is poultry dropping. That is uh, chicken waste. So what we do, we have we have added um, poultry dropping to the culture container now, and our water is still filling up. Like I said earlier, you don't need much. Um, you don't need volume. What you just need is to get as much surface area. So for people that might be interested in knowing the quantity of water that is supposed to be in the pond, you just need to add as much water that can cover the surface area of the pond. If the volume is high, there's no problem. Whether it's low, there's no problem. That's interesting. That's interesting. Yeah. So after the introduction of the poultry dumplings, now the, the the duckweed will now be introduced. Yeah. So wow. This, um, if you you can you can come get it, you can have a closer look of it. In this container, we have two plants basically. Both of them are all duckweed, but um, one of them have higher protein content, the uh, wolfia plant, and the other one that have little little flower is also duckweed, um, but of a different uh, genus. So we are going to introduce it now. So we expected that just in 48 hours we are going to get this size. So as you can see, it's a cost-effective way of growing wow. fish. Wow! So wow! What we wow. just do is you see us introduce it. So fish is this this uh, this week. They eat it very well. Uh, they eat it very well. When you feed them, they and they grow well on it. Well. And it's more nutritious. Um, uh, it, you said it's a protein. Uh, why we use, why we give them this particular plant is because this plant have high protein. At least yeah. one of the things that we need for a uh, production of feed is uh, fish meal that have had this uh, high protein content over time. And that is what is aff affecting or influencing the cost of feed. So that is just what we do here, basically. So that is very, uh, that is we have um, grown this plant in tapolin tanks uh, in this thing. We tried, in fact, there was a trial we tried uh, culturing in this uh, abandoned earthen pond, but we found that it's not um, prolific. It couldn't survive because, you know, the water we use here is probiotic water, you know. You know, I already have said, uh, I've explained uh, some of those things that happens when we, you know, do this, uh, introduce bacteria and these probiotics in our pond, like I explained to you earlier on. Yes. So the water didn't allow the plant to survive. So here is going to serve as a nursery bed for these, uh, 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 for these uh, dog weeds that would serve as a food alternative to the fishes in yes, the, yes, uh, in yes, the uh, yes. more larger ponds over there. Yes, yes, yes. Um, yes. There, there are more larger ponds over there. I don't know if we can get it. Yeah, but we'll be going closer to the to those ponds very soon. So, but, it's not really the nursery. We are just going to be keep growing these plants here. Plant, yeah. Yeah, okay. So we use this our cheap uh, 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 facility to uh, culture these plants. Culture the plant. And we intend to expand more as time goes, goes on. on. So that is it. So I think this is really, this, this is really a big plant. Really so, 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 we like so we are introducing the plants now. So you just... If there's no special techniques. You just spray your plant on top of the water. Just pour it. With this little plant, I hope you will try and visit us or come back some other time so that you but, can see what this little thing we added here, how it's going to, you know, you know, dominate the water space. And so it's going to take uh, 48 hours for you to dominate. Just 48 hours to get this same size. It has the ability to reproduce itself to that quantity. It's self-generating. So this plant just do a, a kind of cell division to get the um, offspring. So it's just what basically happens here. And it will take the nutrient from the dumplings that we are introducing to the water. The nutrient. This oh, water, wow. even with the protein dumplings that we have added here, you notice there's no smell. It's just a very... I'm sure going to come back here to see the, 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 the result of this one that we have introduced. Yes, yes, yes. It's a very nice. So we have just done this process and then the next, next time you come, maybe say a space of one week to two weeks, this whole pond have 
must have been dominated and covered and we we'll just collect from here and i'll feed our fish so it's really interesting it's really interesting for us to see this Thank and you. um yeah so we'll come back next time to see the results of this i hope to see thank you. you thank you thank you